Hello, my name is Allison Olson. I've been a lifeguard here for three years and a head guard for one year. Today I'll be showing you how to do a chemical test. This is a Palin Test 9 machine that uses a photometric method to measure our pH and chlorine values. We will have to perform this test at the top of every hour. This is our Palin test box, and inside you will see we have four tubes. We will take two tubes for each bowl. Once you have your two tubes, you will then kneel down next to the water. Reach your arm all the way in down to the elbow. Once you have your water, you will then flick out until you reach the 10 milliliter marks. After you've gathered your two tubes of water, you will then use these tablets. The first one is going to be DPDXF. The second will be phenol red. If you ever run out of these tablets, you will find some more in this drawer right here. DPDXF and pH field and red. If we ever run out of these boxes, you will contact Mike, and, Mike or Ashley to ask. Now that we have our tablets, so then we can begin to test in the field. You'll press power, wait for it to turn on, go to chlorine, make sure it's the free and not the total. You will then insert a blank tube, put the cover on top, and press OK. After it has finished blinking, you will then use the chlorine tablet, DPD-XF, and insert the tablet into a sample. You will then use a stick mixer to crush up the tablet. And then let it sit for two minutes. After your sample has been sitting for two minutes, you will then mix it a final time before putting it into the Palin test. Remove the blank and insert your sample. And press OK to test. Once you have your reading, you will then copy onto the page in the correct time. You will then remove your sample and repeat this process for the fetal red to test pH. that we have it already blinked, you'll insert a tablet, crush it up, then let it sit for two minutes. After two minutes have passed, you'll mix it a final time for inserting it into the Palin test. Again, for our reading, we will copy it onto the correct time and pull. Now that we have tested for one pool, we will repeat the process for the other pool. So this is how you do a chemical test. 